Netboom is a cloud gaming company based in Singapore, and we consider Netboom an own it, play it, pick up and play cloud gaming platform, which means you have to own the games to play them on the service. Want to see what kind of hardware Netboom is running? Now that they launched their PC mode, I was able to get all their system information and run some benchmarks, including a 3D Mark score. Let's see what Netboom is running. I was decently surprised to find that Netboom servers are running pretty decent hardware, but this is because their infrastructure is a little different. The Netboom infrastructure is based off of software from the company NetZoneSoft, which is a Chinese-based company. They call their system a diskless setup, otherwise known as a PC virtualization. It looks like they haven't updated their website with up-to-date info since 2006. It also seems like they use a NetZoneSoft program called GameBase or Game Menu to deploy games on their system, but I could be wrong about this. Now for information on their virtualization instances. First, they're running on Windows 10 Pro. I'm kind of surprised it's not Windows Server, but that's probably not how the NetZoneSoft software works. Every client might use an individual Windows 10 license, according to the diagram. Now, NetBoom is running the Intel Core i5 11260H, which is an 11th generation Tiger Lake laptop processor. Even though the Microsoft settings indicate that it's an Intel Xeon Skylake processor, it's clocked at 2.6 GHz and rates pretty high on the Passmark Benchmark website. It seems like the virtualization process might display desktop or laptop hardware for every instance. The actual hardware is running on the server. Now for the GPU, this instance is running the NVIDIA Tesla T4 8Q, which is a virtual workstation GPU designed to run multiple display instances. The T4 8Q is designed to handle up to four virtual displays depending upon configuration. Now, according to the games we benchmarked, the Tesla T4 is comparable to the RTX 3060 in terms of performance. These instances are also running 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now, speaking of benchmarks, we ran the in-game benchmark for Cyberpunk 2077 and Far Cry 5. These two games are decently demanding and NetBoom hardware seems to hold up, but that's not the problem. The problem is the stream. It seems like there's a bottleneck in their system, so the stream isn't able to handle the power of higher-end games like Cyberpunk. Just look at it. The choppiness is bad. You can see similar results on Far Cry 5. The stats are nice though. The stream just doesn't reflect it. We were also able to install and run 3D Mark to get a benchmark score. And once again, the stream doesn't reflect what the PC is actually running. It's a real shame too, because the 3D Mark score for NetBoom it ranks higher than the base Shadow Machine. Damn! Overall, NetBoom has decent performance for most games, but their stream is holding them back. If the stream software is as old as this website, <laughs> it's time for an upgrade, NetBoom. I hope they figure this out soon because this would really put them on the map once they solve this problem. Look out, Boosteroid! If you like this benchmark overview of NetBoom, give us a like and feel free to subscribe so you can get the latest news, gameplay, and comparisons on cloud gaming at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight, putting the boom in cloud gaming.